conclusion that this was like the first and second round was a bit of part of your game plan, just to not stress it, be a bit methodical. I, I, I you know, it's that way I kind of recognized you in a sense. A bit so, yeah, of course. Uh, we knew coming into the fight that he 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 shoots him very quickly, uh, does it very well for that sake, has a strong wrestling game and has b fought and beaten top names outside of the, the UFC uh, on the local circuits. So we knew, although he might be unknown to the general public uh, among the hardcore fans, uh, people know his game and he showed that tonight as well. And did you, how, how do you feel, I mean, from you know, all the preparations for this fight, how do you feel? Uh, are you completely like, satisfied by your performance? Was there anything that you know, wasn't there as you planned? Obviously, you never get satisfied. Yeah, I think but. that's uh, kind of a <laughs> utopia. Uh, I'm glad to have the win, uh, of course. Uh, I'm sure I must have done something correct. Uh, on the other hand, I know directly that things I could capitalize on. Uh, yeah, there's... I'm happy, but there's still work to be done, I'm, and I look forward to it. You feel fresh? Any, I mean, any uh, injuries? Nothing? Anything? No, nothing major. I mean, it's a fight, though. Uh, he Ooh. hit me hard. I kicked him hard, and you know, we'll, we'll see tomorrow. It just got, it seemed like you had a good. Uh, wow. Wow. Uh, Focus. Nico, uh, there was quite a bit of clinch where uh, you were pursuing a takedown. Was part of a part of a game plan to take him down? Uh, part of the game plan was to tire him against the cage, uh, especially against the cage. Uh, we knew, like, in the middle of the cage, he shoots him very quickly, as I said earlier, uh, and. Uh, the only game, the only fight he had prior to this fight uh, in the UFC was against Damian Maya, and Damian Maya sh showed that uh, he, he could run him against uh, the ca the cage. So we worked on capitalizing on that aspect uh, for sure. Was there any aspect of Alexander Yakulov's game that surprised you that you had a hard time with? Uh, not really, uh, but at the same time, I mean, he's he's a game opponent. Uh, no one's in the UFC <laughs> out of mistake, mm -hmm. uh, and his uh, record shows for it. Uh, I mean, obviously, no pun intended, but you know, for, uh, for this fight, you have a pretty much an all star, uh, you know, setup of uh, coaches. Mm -hmm. uh, and again, no pun intended. Uh, you have Max Philipson, yes, you have Sasha with yes. you, uh, Martinovich from Rinkiby, uh, Muay Thai, and uh, also Louis Logeman, yeah, Louis Logeman, the boxing coach. Yeah, they were here today, yeah. and uh. Back home or in the stands watching, we also have uh, Kent Hammarström and uh, Niklas Bergman from uh, the Quartier Prono YouTube, respectively. Uh, all in all, uh, I thank them so much. The guys and girls at the clubs as well, uh, they really pushed me hard. It's been hard uh, these weeks, and mm -hmm. uh, I'm very thankful. You know, le leaving the the uh, Gaslam fight behind you, and a, a, a certain amount of you know minor commotion that was created by you moving out of well, All Stars Gym, and you know going on on a freelance or say call it uh, you know a free agent so to speak. But did that give you you know any kind of strength, just to either you know even more motivation? Uh, what I can say is, I know I'm in a good place, or in good places, and I'm very happy for it. And I know that the work we've done is only, we've only scratched the surface and uh, there's much more to come, much more to come and I'm super pumped and motivated. So now, now that you're back in the win column and your next fight, you're, you're sure that you're going to have a next fight, any particular opponent that interests you? No, I've never been the one really who, who calls out people and not the guy who, who chooses opponents either. Uh, with that said, I'll go home, heal up and as usual wait for the call to come. It was another good night for Carl Pendred. Obviously, you know, he's uh, got a, a win against Du. Is that a fight that perhaps interests you now that he's back in the welterweight division? He's always been in the welterweight division. Uh, we fought a few years back and, uh, I mean, if our paths were to cross again, we'll see about, see about it then. Uh, as I said earlier, I'm not the one to call out people. Uh, in uh, reference to, you know, mentioned uh, Cathal Pender, um, how do you see, you, for example, yourself standing up against him now, you know, compared to the past? 
a lot has happened. Uh, I stand here a better fighter, he as well. Uh, we're both in the same division, we fought earlier, there is history. At the same time, I won't be that guy who will, you know, spin this into something bigger at the moment. Uh, I understand he knows this game as well. I know it, you know it. Uh, we'll see what happens. You, you, you actually said something interesting there. You said, I will never be that guy, not yet, or something similar. But when will you start calling people out? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> we'll see. Hey, Nico, it seemed like you had uh, really good pacing for this fight. Is that, is that something you worked on? You, I think your third round was really strong for you, and it looked like your conditioning was a real strength tonight. Uh, it has always been, and more than anything, this uh, all of this, like the, the fight game, fighting, fighting for the UFC, you know, you always have to, it's a learning process as well. And uh, I mean, the conditioning has always been top, uh, but then it's also a lot about, you know, handling what happens prior to the fight, walking into the fight, reacting to the crowd, uh, and you know, remembering to breathe and stuff. Uh, in there tonight, I felt good. Uh, with that said, I felt I, I could have pushed even harder. Yeah, we, we ran into uh, Diego uh, Gonzalez uh, right before the fight, and it sounded like you texted him today and said, get down here and watch me fight. <laughs> Was there anyone else you were trying to get down here to show some support? I've asked everyone to come here. Uh, you mentioning him, I have to big, say big thanks to him, Diego Gonzalez. Watch out for him in the future. Uh, he's been around. Uh, since way back, uh, he will make his mark in this sport. Uh, helped me out a lot uh, for this fight. Uh, and I heard he, w he was coming here uh, to, see, to see my fight, then he had to, to go, go work. So I hope he made it. In the UFC, you're 2-0 in Sweden. You know, every time you're here, you do well. How much does it feel? To, how good does it feel to fight in front of, you know, at the Ericsson again and, and come away with another win? Uh, this is the first fight oh. in the globe. My bad. No My worries bad. though. No worries though. In, in we but we, we My bad. No, no, no worries. But uh, we can pretend that, okay, now we know <laughs> that w we came off to a good start and I plan on making it even better for next time. Uh, you know, they usually say that, you know, most of the fight game is, you know, a maj majority part of it is um, mental. Right, the, the the entire deal with you going from you know your last fight at I think it was Golden Ring and then being part of the UFC and then grown into the UFC, mm. how have you changed as a person and as well mostly as a fighter? Ooh, uh, that's a tough a, question. It's uh, yeah, it's a tough one. Uh, all in all, what I can say b before even entering the UFC, uh, the goal has always been, you know, to enter and. To make it my my place, I plan on retiring, uh, being an ex UFC fighter. Um, with that said, I knew that the work we've done prior uh, has always been that okay, when this uh, when the opportunity comes, uh, it will be for f for the rest of the career. Uh, so, with that said, every fight is a is something to learn from. Uh, the last fight, this fight tonight. Uh, all the fights before the UFC as well, and uh, yeah, we work hard. Like and you thank just people said, for yeah. for all the help. Like you just said, you learn something from every fight, and I know it's early, but do you feel spontaneously anything you learn from this fight? Yeah, uh, kind of. Uh, what's it called? A confirmation that the things I do good. Uh, like I, now, I know. 100% that I can. I can be there with a good wrestler. Uh, uh, that's the spontaneous thing that comes to mind. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's good. That will have to do for now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>